Hello everyone. I'm Rizu Gaming. I'm back. How are you? I'm still a bit sunburned from uh, <laughs> my birthday holiday, um, but I'm alive. And we're back with some more oxygen included. We are going to start a new run today. Uh, there was a poll on the YouTube channel. And uh, the results were very close, as they always are. Uh, people always <laughs> are not too decisive about voting for things. Um, but the seed, that one, was the rhyme seed with loads of magma volcanoes. So let me just post that in the chat. Here is the seed. Hold on. Give me a second. There we go. That is the seed. And now I will copy that from chat to demo game. So I wanted to play Rhyme again for a few different reasons. Um, the previous Rhyme run, I felt like it was going well, and then I mismanaged a volcano and I kind of lost the motivation to continue that. Um, we made a few mistakes in the early game, and I realized there are a few things that I wasn't really capitalizing on with the Rhyme start. So I want to make a better attempt at that to show you how you can use such a cold map to your advantage, because Rhyme maps are really weird in that they're so cold to start with. And a lot of this you can apply to the Frozen Forest Moonlit as well. Yes, welcome Pavlov's Knob, hope you're doing well. Hooray for volcanoes, indeed. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump in. Alrighty, survival. Um, I'm not going to do any fancy settings on this run, I don't. Uh, we are going to enable all of the story traits. Because I do want to do those, if I can. Because uh, we haven't... We, we, I, we did the Critter Flux Matic. You know what, I might leave this one off. But I haven't done these three. This Ancient Specimens one is is new since I've uh, played with story traits. Uh, so there's um, sort of fossils, geological misadventures around the, uh, the main asteroid that we can go and have a look at. Um, so that should be pretty interesting to have a look at. But I want to get George. We need to unlock George. It's sad that we can't customize George in the um, in the duplicate supply closet yet because we haven't unlocked him. And I feel very sad about that. So that so, main mission, I think, is to do these story traits on this run. So the Somnium Synthesizer, Mysterious Hermit, Ancient Specimen, and just use the volcanoes and just have a generally productive rhyme run. <laughs> Hello, Neo. You're doing well. Yes. So in terms of world traits, we have, believe it or not, volcanic activity. We have geodes. Um, be interesting to see what effect that has. Uh, we had the Stinko Swamp Asteroid. For more information on what the uh, Stinko Swamp Asteroid is like, you can see my video on Asteroid Traits and World Traits. Mm -hmm. But uh, this one has a Frozen Friend on it and some Crash Satellites, so some extra radiation might be nice. And an extra friend is always nice. But yes, I am very much looking forward to not, um, not having to pick all of the farting dupes this time. <laughs> In fact, we're probably not going to pick any farting dupes ever again. <laughs> um, unless they update it. But uh, I don't think that's very likely. Already. So game settings. Um, I'm just going to leave it as standard for now. Um, meteor showers. Actually, you know what? I think I might turn the meteor showers up. Because I want to see these. I haven't seen these in the game yet. So we have Default, Cosmic Storm, Doomsday, and then we have the lower options, Spring Showers, Clear Skies, No Meteor No. So we're obviously not going to disable that. Any thoughts about what you want to see? Because I'm tempted to put it on the max Meteors, just to see what it's like. But on the other hand, I think it might be worth doing the default just to see... Just to see, um, the normal experiences. Doomsday for sure, as we get max resources. That's true. That is true. All right, let's do it. Max meteors. Because <laughs> we didn't have any at the end of the uh, flip paths. Max stress. Mm. I think I might leave that off for now. We're just going to do the meteors, and we're going to we're going to try and do the story traits. So that's that's what we're going to have for now. Yes, I mean, I definitely agree that it makes stress more of an, a relevant thing in the game by by adding, like, default stress. It means that you're really 
making sure that your dupes aren't getting soggy feet and stuff all the time. Um, I am going to do that at some point, but I'm not going to do that on this run. Because I just want to, I just want to have like a normal run where I get to the late game now that, um, now that I've got a bit more of a handle on the hatch branches and the puff branches and a few things like that. Like, I think I can get myself set up for that really good late game position better than I could previously. Because that was what happened to Badlands Boffins. Um, we set up hatch branches to eat all of the uh, granite from all the... <laughs> all of the boulders um and then the hatches got out of control and we couldn't kill them all because they were stone hatches and our drowning chamber broke um so now we know how to actually handle them because of the uh sweet old grub grub build we did on flip passes that will work for hatches too so we'll just copy the build and use it for hatches and then we'll be sorted anyways let's actually let's actually begin um yeah, let's go. Ooh, temple tear time. <laughs> Very nice. Ah, uh, it's always fun when you start a new game. It gives me the fuzzies. Doesn't happen too often for me. I don't actually play this game outside of streaming. I never have. I I don't have time. Whiskers looks very excited as well to start with you. Probably see them in the bottom corner. Yeah, you're excited, aren't you? Alrighty. So, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to want to pick a Mechatronics guy right at the beginning again, so we can try and get hatches going really quickly. So, we'll pick a builder, and we'll give them... We'll see if we can roll one with Mechatronics, and we'll see what we get. Then digging, I think you always want a uh, fast digger. Ooh, you know what we could do? We could we could do a run where we uh, have everyone have the rock fan trait. Everyone loves rocks. Okay, actually, I've got a I've got a story about rocks. Sorry, we will start the game in a minute. I have a story about rocks. So, it it was my thirtieth birthday uh, a few days ago. Actually, I might actually um I might actually put it in street dial. It was my 30th birthday a couple of days ago. And I went on holiday to the Norfolk coast. Um, and I got my tire replaced that same day because it was running, it was wearing out and it was um, it was due replacement. So I thought I'd get that done before a big journey on my lunch hour. And then we set off, uh, got on the roads, um, about half an hour away from my house en route to the holiday. Um, we're going down a new road and there's this white thing in the distance, and I can't see exactly what it is. It looks like 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 a, a bird, like a dead bird or something. But then, as I get closer with the car, as we're going like 60 miles an hour, I realize it's a rock. It's a big, like, limestone rock. And before I have time to swerve, I run over it with the brand new tire that I got replaced like seven hours ago. And it immediately punctures the tire and it immediately goes flat. Um, and thankfully, we didn't, uh, we didn't die. <laughs> we didn't die. We managed to stop safely, and there weren't any real issues with that. But, um, I kept the rock. That is now a good luck rock to prevent us from getting in future accidents. And I, and I got the tire fixed again. But I thought you'd find that story interesting. So we, in honor of the rock, we are going to, uh, pick all rock fans. So yeah, rock fan digger sounds good. Uh, we'll take a ah, we want a researcher, don't we? I think I take a researcher and I get them to minor and ranching, maybe. Or perhaps what I do is I get a builder rancher with Mechatron. That makes sense. How are you doing, user? Yeah, let's go pick a researcher. We always need a researcher. This helps you get through the early game really quickly. So we're going to keep going until we find a rock fan. Um, but I'm going to try and get a higher skilled one. I'm going to roll for a little bit. I think they updated the duplicate settings mod, but I still don't like how the points you get from it aren't quite the points you would normally get.
So we're probably going to roll past this. Let's just check that we don't. Got two lines. There we go. You've got noodle arms. Ooh, noodle arms on a researcher isn't very good. Because they're often the ones carrying the dirt, etc., to the research station. So you really don't want them doing that a small amount at a time. Maybe we're going to pick someone other than Lero. Oh, I rolled past one. Ooh. It's... So, I'm unsure whether to only print rock plans or just have the starting three be the rock plans. We'll have a think. Doesn't seem to come up too often, but it comes up a bit more often than some of the other rare ones. You're a farter. No farters allowed. We're not allowing any farters anymore. Go away. <laughs> Get out of here. Alright. Bottomless stomach. That's fine. That's fine. Does the dupe setting manager really change the numbers by that much? Um, you can manipulate it to change to change the um, the numbers. You can, you can get like like normally when you get three interests or deep you get like low numbers but you can cheese it to get high numbers by having like really bad traits and then remove the bad traits um and I could just not do that but equally I think I'm just gonna get some oh naturale dupes so we got we got a Devon who's the researcher we got a uh we got an ashcan digger now the builder we're probably gonna have with Raching. Also, I kind of like doing it randomly because we end up with stuff that isn't just optimal. Like, I'm not just going to... Like, there's some things like I I want and are important, but there's, I like having a little bit of randomness. It like, gives the dupe some character. Like, I like that Ashcan is going to be a loud sleeper because it means we're not just going to stick him in um, a barracks like we normally do. So long as it's not something that's going to actively like make our colony much worse to play, I think that's what it comes down to. Yeah, let's try and find a builder rancher. And we'll, let's just see who the first rock person is. We'll be able to get another rancher, I imagine. Also, it means more people get to come by to start the stream than the little while. Uh, plus seven rock fan. You know what? I've got some plans for the other game that aren't actually ranching. So let's just take three rock fans. Let's not take any skill dupes this time. So we got Emil, we got Ashcan, we got Devon, the very, very skilled researcher. Interesting that research levels add to geotuning speed. That's something else I want to do more of because we set up the we set up the squeaky puff ranch. So we could do some geotuning last time, and then we ended up not really needing to. Um, we'll see what we find. I've already forgotten what, I, what other geysers we have, but I imagine we'll probably do some stuff with the volcanoes. Um, yes. Yeah, these are going to be our three dupes. Camille, Ashcan, and Devon. <laughs> I only need one rock fan queen, and we name it Aresia, and they'll carry you. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get into it as well. Um, it definitely feels like more of a late game thing in terms of making sure you've got the resources. Uh, but yeah, the whole point of this run is I want to get further in Rhyme. We established some really good principles in Flip Farters that I want to carry over to a more normal classic style run without such a odd gimmick with the flatulent dupes. So we're going to be trying to get to late game. Alrighty. And uh, name the colony. Did someone have a good suggestion? Rock planted by, <laughs> rock planted by tire repair company for sure. Hmm. Oh, what's the name of that game with the dwarves? Oh, hold on. Yeah, no, this is the game I was thinking of buying. Yeah, Deep Rock Galactic. Okay, right, that's the name of the colony. Deep Rock Galactic. 
that's a game that I want to get. That's a game that I'm going to get and play instead of Overwatch. Because my friend has it. It's sort of FPS style stuff, but it's more co-op based. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> why am I typing that in, uh, why, I why am I typing that in screen chat? Deep Rock Galactic. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to give that a try. Yeah, these are guys. Uh, if anyone wants to redeem any points to name some dupes, feel free. There are, it is only 1,000 points. Um, and here we go. Alrighty. So, let's see. What have we got? Fairly normal. Looks like we've got a load of water above us. That's good. So the temperature is cold. As usual for Ryan, your printing pod starts at around 20 degrees. The area around you starts at like 10 degrees. And then it gets colder very quickly. So there's enough room for some liquid water here. But that will freeze if we bring it too far outside the map. And this may, yeah, this, this stuff down here is like 40 degrees, minus 40 degrees. So we need to generate heat and move it around. Uh, we have a big block of algae here. That's good, because I have plans for algae. We're going to do stuff with algae terrariums today. I don't normally use them, but there's a reason to use them on Rhyme. I'll get more into that in a minute. Uh, so let's do the usual things. Uh, two downtimes, one bedtime, one two. <laughs> Hold on. The asteroid. What is the asteroid called? It's called Buribo. That's an awful name. I love it. Buribo. Ooh. Um, priorities. Attacking up. Life support up. Hogwing up. Devon definitely should prioritize research. You should prioritize building. You should prioritize digging. Normal stuff. Um, in terms of where the axis shaft is going to go, I don't really know. What's looking at the sea? I don't think it really matters. I think I'll have it go... I think I'll have it go this way and we'll drain the water down to the bottom. Hello, Anna, Elisa. Is it, is it is frozen? Yes. The asteroid is very cold. It's a rhyme asteroid. So we... Uh, this initial zone around us is like 10 degrees C, but very quickly it turns to like minus 10. This bit down here is minus 40 because it's a, a rust biome. So uh, we're going to need to generate heat or uh, insulate things. So let's 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 have the axis shaft go here. So let's just start digging this way first, get some metal. Uh, you're not going to dig all of that, that's fine. In fact, actually just leave, leave a couple of bits there. Okay, uh, I think we just go then. Go, go, go. It begins. Again, I feel like the noises are a bit quieter like, than they normally are. Maybe it's just because they're digging through soft stuff. Let's see. We'll dig through some metal in a minute. No, it definitely feels quieter. But the settings aren't set any differently. Hmm. Sounds very off. Yeah, it does sound weird. This be the last update. That's... That's better. It sounded like this on the Paku run as well. Um, this is fine. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, right, let's uh, let's continue digging out this way as well. So, I want to make sure we have a bathroom first, so... I'm gonna dig this stuff under here. So let's see, we'll put, we'll put the research station here. Actually, let's put the supercomputer here, because we're gonna have the water draining down. The supercomputer here, door, ladder. 
Let's dig under here. We can make these tiles sandstone. It's fine. Um, and then... Already got some metal, so you can dig these. Um, I think one bathroom will do for now. So let's just make a wash basin and sink. Outhouse. Uh, so you can just do that. And then bedrooms will do a little bit higher. That's fine. So that can go up here. Then I can wall this off. Dig this out here as well. Yeah, anyone else have this thing with the sound? Because it just sounds very quiet. But if I turn ambience off, what happens? Doesn't seem to have affected anything. Best effects. Okay, so that's all that stuff. Yeah, it seems like SFX is quieter than normal. Okay. Well, whatever, this is fine. Um, so yeah, bathroom down there, and then we're gonna have beds up here. We can dig all of this stuff out as well. Up game audio, turn down music. Yeah, we could do that. Hold a sec. So this stuff here. I think the UI was fine, is it? There we go. Alright, does that seem better to you guys? It doesn't seem better to me. I feel like it's just bugged. Oh yeah, music needs to go down. Okay. I did the wrong sliders. Nice. Yeah, good job. Pro gamer moment. Okay. It still sounds weird. Like, the effect sounds different. I thought originally it was because we were just on a squelchy asteroid last time. But now we're in the Rhyme asteroid and it's doing the same thing. Um, but that's fine. We'll keep going. We'll just keep going like this. But yeah, let me know if you've had any uh, sound issues. I'm wondering whether it's to do with the mod. Hmm. Well, whatever. We'll just play through it now. That's fine. And then dig this out here. Let's speed to this. Here's the hatch. You always start with a hatch to the left of your printing pod. So they're going to be down here. They're going to eat the muck roots. So you need to store stuff priority 9. All edibles. Mr. Hatch does not want to eat any uh, fruit. Alrighty. Uh, and then, let's see. You can dig out the obsolete and this stuff. Um, it will have the mass, but the oxygen generation will still be the same. Uh, actually, you know what? Just leave that there for now. Um, what we'll do for now is we'll just dig this out instead. Oh, this is all sand. That's going to be really annoying. Mm. You know what? Maybe we'll just put the beds over here for now. So this, this will eventually be a door. So let's do that, and then let's just dig out three beds. Well, it's a CO2 pit, they'll hold their breath and it'd be spared a bad spell. <laughs> nice. Um, well, I was thinking of just connecting it down here. Um, then again, I mean, it's quite cold down here. This bit down here is really cold. I'm umming and ahhing about where to pour the water. I'm thinking for now to just have the tank be here. I think we might just do that for now just to keep it warm. Yeah, let's get some beds. Mm. I'll do. Uh, shine bugs, there are none. Uh, there are some over here, actually. They're, they're doing it. Hello, Dotterly. Hope you're doing well. 
new run, new run time. Uh, what are you up to? Let's see. Um, what else do I want you to do? I guess you could start setting up uh, the research room. So what we'll do is we will put a research station here. If you look in the room overlay, no industrial machinery. None of that's relevant at the moment. We're going to make this an 11 wide room. So what I could do is I could put some batteries here. I'm going to put two batteries here just because they generate a little bit of heat. We'll replace it with a jumbo battery eventually. Yeah, there you go. That will do. Oh, we need the water. Yeah, actually, let's go grab the water. I almost forgot to do that. Um, yes. So if we go, if we go up, then what I can do is I can dig over. Ooh, this is going to be slightly interesting. Actually, accessing this water is going to be a bit weird. I mean, the water is just for the wash basin, so it's not mandatory at the moment, but it would be good to get it going today. Let's see. So perhaps if what I do is just something like this, that would be okay. And then the pitcher pump can go here. Uh, some of that water will come up because of this, so I should actually think about that. Yeah, maybe just stick over here for now. And put the pitch pump here. We'll, uh, we'll improve this later. But for now, just continue digging the tunnel to the water. So, so here's some more water, but this already froze because the rhyme map is so cold. So, what's our plan for heat? Um, to be honest, we have so much algae in this starting biome. The plan is to set up a proper algae terrarium room. Um, normally I don't bother with algae terrariums because although they're more oxygen efficient, they, um, they take a lot more duplicate management because of uh, all the pollutant water. But they have a pro that isn't normally relevant, but is relevant on Rhyme, in that the pollutive water... Oh, right, you're going to go eat. Uh, can you just, like, yell alert this? Yeah, right. So, um, usually... Yeah, so the pollutive water comes out at 30 degrees Celsius or higher. So if you're feeding it with really cold water... Uh, if, yeah, if you're feeding it with really cold water, you're going to turn all that cold water into hot water, or 30 degrees water. And that actually generates a pretty decent amount of heat. So you're going to you're gonna be all dirty. That's fine. You're going to go sleep. You can disinfect some things. Oh, right. The loud, the loud snorer. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. You can have a little bit of a snore for now. Right. You're going to go there. So now if I wake you up, you'll stop snoring for now. And then we'll make a special quarters for you down here. Yes, that's all. <laughs> I can go here. You can dig this up. You're going to go sleep again. Uh, no, you're not. You're going to go up here. There you go. Now you're not going to sleep. You can sleep more during the day. I just don't want you to give uh, Camille the uh, loud snore treatment. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, so now I want you to go wash your hands because you are covered in germs. You've covered everything in germs. So you can go that way. It's fine. You still look tired because you uh, didn't get a full night's sleep, but you uh, don't actually have any debuffs, so that's fine. Right, so now we have water. So, yeah, you can finish that. 
you can plug this in here. I'm not going to worry about the decor from these things so much. It doesn't actually make that much of a difference in any game. We're going to rip all the wire out fairly soon anyways. We'll just put the manual generator here. I like putting down the tiles because it helps with the run speed. So we'll do that. Yeah. Um, I think the plan is going to be big water tank over here. Or what we could do is we could actually... I mean... <laughs> We can try cooling the water down a little bit and then turning it into polluted water with the algae terrariums. We'll need to make a proper algae terrarium room. Let's tile this as well. So we access those. I'm going to leave these for now because I'm going to dig them out later. Then research-wise, yeah, let's get the mess hall right away. Um, for some reason, the algae terrarium is in basic farming as well. So... Maybe we'll start building that sooner rather than later. And then I think what I'll do is I'll just put in another three. I'll just put in another three of these. Or have three total. And I'll make this a, I'll make this a 12 wide. There you go. And then you can go here. Put this uh, ration box somewhere else. Hey, Judy Pixels. Yeah, new base. It's a new base day. We're doing Rhyme. Revenge of Rhyme. Um, YouTube um, was very close being indecisive in the poll again. Uh, but we are doing um, a seed with lots of magma volcanoes. There's 15 of them on this Rhyme map. And we're going to actually try and use them this time. Uh, but we're just doing some early game stuff at the moment. You know, everyone's favorite part of the game. <laughs> yeah, you can help, Julie. Which one do you want to do? Which one do you want to be? Um, or do you want to rename the ration box or something equally silly? Uh, we have a Camille, we have an Ashcan, we have a Devon. Devon is a researcher. Camille is the uh, builder. And Ashcan is the digger. Yeah, so now now Devon's asleep. So we need to move, uh, we need to move Ashcan over here because Ashcan is the loud snorer. Redhead, okay. Nice. All right. Is that is that the name of the dupe? I presume so. Red hair, don't care. Nice. So we've got all this stuff down here. So we want to come and grab all of this algae. I'm very keen to do this algae terrarium build today, and I'm keen to use it to generate our heat. We'll want to get insulated tiles going right away. There is lots of algae over here as well. Maybe we should grab this first. So let's just set some markers to remember where the uh, base levels are going to be. Uh, except for this one. That's not right. <laughs> yes, adorable. The dupes are very adorable. It comes naturally to them. Oh, actually, before we get too far into this, we should make a new custom outfit for the dupes. Let's do that. Let's let's make the Rhyme Revenge outfit. Uh, so, let's see. Um, open wardrobe. Uh, let's make a new outfit with the stuff that we have. Uh, we don't have a lot of stuff. We do have a blue shirt. Uh, we don't have the blue gloves. We have white gloves. We have blue pants. And we have... We have grey socks. So we could do we could do a chilly themed... Oh, actually, hold on. No, I've got a better idea. We're giving them all the lemon jelly jackets. <laughs> yeah, you get the lemon glovelets. Uh, we don't have the lemon pants. Are there lemon pants? I don't think there are. Uh, we can add the yellow pants. Pink. Pink pants. Yeah, you're not going to wear shorts. Not today. Um, 
And then, yeah, shoes, socks. We don't want them running around in their socks. That doesn't seem very productive. Uh, let's give them some black shoes. Okay, there we go. Save template. Uh, let me rename the outfit. Uh, rhyme Revenge Buddies. Okay. I love this feature. It's so cool. Um, so now we need to assign that outfit to everyone. <laughs> So I will uh, figure out a way to speed run this. Oh wait. Why aren't you getting everything? Oh, it's glitched. It's showing. Hmm. I think I need to go back and... yeah. You get this. Right, so you are all wearing the right outfit. Okay, that's a bug. It's not showing sometimes, but that's okay. We know it's there. You're gonna hear a lot of dupe noises over the next five minutes. Wish we could blanket apply to everyone. I know, right? That should absolutely be a feature. I find it quite rare that I'd actually want to give the dupes different outfits, depending on who they are. We may give George a separate outfit when we unlock him. I think that's going to be like one of the main objectives is unlocking George for future runs. Or at least unlocking George's customizability. Also, I wish I could apply blankets to everyone. People should, the duplicates should be allowed blankets. George gets overalls. Yeah, that's true. I mean, by the time you find George, you usually have the Primo Garb anyways, so I guess it's not that relevant. Someone should do a modded run where every dupe is George. Like it just like the like the printing pod dupes start as George. You know what? I'm very tempted. I'm very tempted to make a uh, Quinn keep the flip farters outfit specifically just because it's it's a video farting. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that. Yeah, there you go. Quinn is the special, special little guy. There you go. So I was playing Hyperbolica last night, and that game was pretty fun. But I think I opened on the worst possible thing. I opened on the dating game, uh, dating mini mini game. So we spent like half an hour doing like just dialogue in a game about like different geometry. That was weird. But yeah, it was fun. We got about halfway through. We're going to come back to it at another time, but um, I'm not in an immediate hurry. So basically the next random weekend stream I get will probably be finishing home. There we go. Uh, so that should be everyone. So if I go back, you guys are still wearing those things. Now I need to change your outfits. To the custom ones. There you go. Yeah, so I'm glad I remember now rather than like halfway through. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. <laughs> there you go. You exist. You exist now. I highlighted you. You will get the little uh, lemon, lemon puffer jackets. Very nice. Putting a redhead and orange is just cool. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. We're gonna do it anyways. Do it. Right, we're already unlocking food stuff. That's good. Ashkan is on the wheel. Now you feel like going to sleep. Good. You uh, timed it just about right. So yeah, your your sleep radius isn't going out past the tiles, so that's fine. Um, yes, I want to get insulated tiles, I think. Because what we can do... For this water here, what we can do is we can dump cold stuff into it. We can dump the rest of the ice in here, have it get to just around melting point, and then run it through the... Um, run it through the... Algae Terraria to heat it up. 
I think that's what we're gonna do. I think it is just that block of ice here. Yeah, let's make a great hall as well. Let's uh let's just get this dug out, I think. It's fine by me. We're gonna leave it on speed two for now. So you woke up a bit early. It's fine. You'll get back in sync with everyone else soon enough. <laughs> the hatch is hiding in the <laughs> random blob of sand. Okay, there's the mess table stuff. It's good. Um, yeah, you can dis you can disable disinfect on these. That's not an issue. But I don't know where everything is going to go permanently. But for now, I'll just I'll just get some basic stuff set up here for now. I think we're gonna definitely have a water tank here, so let's just set up the base infrastructure over here. Dig that up, and then we'll make this the great. So actually, yeah, before you continue with this, let's just make the great ball over here. So again, that can be 11. I can go here, then we can dig all of this stuff out to get over there. Then we can let all that oxygen out. That'd be good. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these three original dupes be the um, the rock fans, and then we'll just pick dupes like normal, just so that we can progress as fast as possible. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a load of dupes. Uh, we do need advanced research at some point, but let's uh, get all the food moved over first. We'll make sure that when we have the water tank, we have the pitcher pump over here, so we can access the. Uh, the supercomputer and the water cooler and stuff right away. So yeah, food wise, let's put in let's put in uh really we're out of metal. Oh there is more metal over here, but we can we can dig this up now. It's fine. There is coal over here. We should prioritize coal very quickly because the carbon dioxide is minimal, and the heat is something we want in this map. But uh, we'll be all we'll be all right with wheel. So edibles should go in here. That should be priority nine. So remove all the food from here. Put it there, and then we can remove this. The hatch can roam them around without eating anything we don't want it to eat. There you go. Uh, right, carbon dioxide is building up down here. Uh, we will let that out. Uh, I think we can just dig through this. There's nothing too important over here. We'll just put a ladder in here and we'll come down here later. Uh, new principles. What have we got? Oh my god, they look adorable. They look adorable in their little puffer jackets. Uh, so we got another plus seven builder right away with no real downside. That seems kind of good. We have an allergies dupe. Normally, I think I would take... Ooh, yeah, plus nine research with the extra digging bonus and uncultured is really good. But um, I think we are going to have bristle blossoms, so I don't really want to do allergies. So I think we're just going to pick the plus seven builder. We're going to add an Abe. There we go. I don't think we want the narcoleptic. 
don't think that makes too much sense. Although, research and digging is a good combo. Narcoleptic researcher is probably fine. Because they're going to be... Hmm. Also, we can give this person hard digging right away and get granite for the water tank right away. Because it would make sense to give them hard digging instead of uh, research initially. You know what? We're going to take the narcoleptic. Let's have some fun. Let's take the narcoleptic. We're going to add Ada. I haven't had a narcoleptic dupe in a while. Uh, so you can have hard digging and immediately grab that skill. <laughs> Can Ada grab? Can Ada be Pav? Okay, that sounds good. All right, Ada is Pav. There you go. You get the special treatment. Pav. Alrighty. Uh, we need to prioritize digging and researching for you. Uh, so mostly. Digging minor in research. So Devin wants to do the main task and you can do the smaller tasks. You can do the basic research while Devin does the extreme research. <laughs> that alert has scared me twice now and I activated it in the second time. <laughs> I think I need to turn it down a little bit, but on the other hand, I kind of like that it jump scares me a little bit because it means that I actually remember it. It is there. Um, right. Let us... Let's grab some granite. Um, I don't really want to release the hydrogen immediately, but I definitely want some granite for this thing. Very cold over here. Even colder over here. I think it makes sense to grab the granite from over here. So you just dig this out. And then go ahead and dig this out. Go have a look at that. And then let's grab the let's grab the planter pot just for the last bit for the break wall. <laughs> yeah, I added some sound effects to uh, most of the channel point redeems. Um, yeah, some of the more expensive ones have some slightly sillier alerts that should go off. So uh, feel free to explore those if you have the points. Also, you're definitely going to um, need to reoxygenate over here. Um, it's probably worth me digging this bit out so that the CO2 can just move. I don't want all this resource today. So let's just... That seems like a way of tracking the dude. Just dig this out. Well, well, yes. Quack is the same as it always was. I removed the, uh, the Spongebob later one, because not many people were using it. And yep, there's the honk. Yep. Speed 2 again. Yes, yeah, so there we go. I thought the Roblox sound was funny for the stretch. This is the noise I make when I have a good stretch. I do need a good stretch. Thank you. And I'm pretty sure I set all the cooldowns back down to normal, so there should be no uh, shenanigans. I'm getting some granite. Uh, you do need to, now that you can actually access this, let's dig this out. Let's dig this out. Oh, we need a priority, uh, priority seven this. I'm going to try my hardest not to abuse priority. We're going to make sure that we're not priority nining stuff unless we absolutely need to. Right, so we have the flower pot. Let's grab that. Put that over here. Then let's grab employment. So you get the water cooler. I really wish they would just, I mean, just from a flavor perspective, I really wish they would add more stuff to the crafting station. Like, let, let them make something at the crafting station. Like, let them make little uh, things you can put on the pedestals or something. I don't know. Or... What else would you make at a crafting station? I have no idea. 
But I feel like it should have more uses than just oxygen masks. Or they should just rename it the oxygen mask station. So there you go. So now you've got four beds. Uh, what we will do is... Oh, I should be giving these guys the proper beds. I'll deconstruct them and reconstruct them in a minute. We're going to go with the, the lab bets, the, the lab cots. Yeah, not a lab coat, a lab cot. It's going to be quite cold over here, so we're not going to be able to plant anything over here unless we get some joyous seeds. Oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> well, uh, shoot. Maybe we'll find seed. There are briars over here, but they're too cold. Perhaps we will need an artist. Well, there's a volcano. Uh, let, we are going to be very vigilant for checking heat leaks. Yes, yeah, so that's one of the volcanoes. There are 15 of them. Right. Uh, while we're at it, let's prioritize these. Let's also deconstruct these beds. Why are you asleep again? Yeah, there you go. That's fine. Why is it so hard for you to work on your own website? I can design and build anything on the web, but my own site is tortured. Nice. I don't know a huge amount about web, des uh, web design. Like, um, me and my partner have a website for our wedding. Um, but we're just using, like, um, one of those normal online tools. We, uh, we haven't done any coding. Yeah, so keep digging along here, keep grabbing this granite, and then what we'll do, instead of doing this, we'll just start off making this out of granite. Wait. Oh, you, you still need to dig the granite. Okay, that's fine. Then you can dig into here, I guess. You may as well dig up the rust. I want to see what's over here. There are not going to be many critters to start. It's going to be very lonely. Um, we could make an oxygen diffuser start. I feel like that's a waste, though. Maybe not just to start. Oh, what have we got? We got the water cooler. Put that there. Uh, you can dig up, uh, let's see. For now, you can just dig up a plant. Let's see what to do. Yeah, it's like a mix of granite and igneous. You get a pretty good amount of granite from uh, each thing. So this should be enough to start. So this bit here could be granite. We're going to make it quite... Um, yeah, we're going to make it quite shallow. Yeah, there you go. So that could all be granite. Um, we can dig in here. Make this a ladder. Uh, sandstone is fine. I can come in there. Then what I'll do is extend this out another nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then that will be the end of this room. And then we'll put the, the other ladder here. And then once you finish uh, digging out that granite, this will be... Yeah, there we go. Go over here. I can go up there. You've got an extra attribute. What did you get? I should install that um, attribute uh, mod that Max has. Uh, the one that lets you see the progress. I quite like that. Why are you... Oh, you're, you're, you're not an Archaleptic, are you? Oh, we deconstructed the beds and didn't rebuild them. That's funny. Right, uh... Here we go.
Yeah, now you got the soul back. You'll be alright. They didn't have exhausted because they uh, didn't pass out. They just didn't have to have a bed. How absurd. It's a portfolio site for you to get a job. Everyone wants to see working as long as they don't trust anymore. Rip. There you go. There's Ashcan. Everyone else can just take a seat there. But yeah, let's get this water all in one place. And then what we can do... Because we want to melt this ice. There's a geyser over here. I think what actually makes sense to do is to store the water here where it's where it's a little bit warm to start. And then put the algae terrariums up here and dump the hot polluted water on this ice and eventually melt it. I think that's the plan. Yeah, let's get some advanced research. Because what I'd like to do today is get the bathrooms plumbed and get the uh, and get the um, algae terrariums up. We have the Bristol Blossoms here again. So what we did last time on Rhyme is we uh, plugged the bathrooms into some Bristol Blossoms, I think. To get it started, because we didn't have any polluted water plants. And it's a bit too cold for them in general. We've got some more ice over here. I think what I might do for now is just use a liquid reservoir instead of a plant. I feel like the less we rely on plants, the better. Because we're going to struggle to keep this one warm. If I struggle, I mean, we probably won't. So we're probably just not going to get the uh, Great Hall bonus immediately. Uh, which is fine. We can upgrade it later once we get a better Deco item. Perhaps that will incentivize getting a, uh, a decorator. But yeah, I'm not gonna rush. I'm just, I'm just gonna vibe. I'm gonna speed two. Uh, actually, we can, we can speed three. You guys aren't doing too much. I like all the hatches just come out of the ground here and just have like a conversation with each other. So we do need to add oxygen. For now, let's just add an oxygen diffuser over here. Yeah, let's just add it over here. Um, and we will set up the terrariums later to be more efficient, but this will be what we use to start. Yeah, Devin, you're still on a slower schedule than ever now. It's your uh, slot again. Oh well. Right, uh, so now we have supercomputer. So let's put that there. Uh, this wire can go here. And then we can priority seven this stuff too. And we'll dig this out as well. That should not cause any issue. I think what I think we're actually going to do the algae terrarium bit first because we've got plenty of dirt and we've got plenty of outhouses. So as long as these are at priority nine and they're at different sort of stages, I don't think it's going to matter too much running on outhouses for more than one stream. You know what? I think this will be fine as well. You can just dig out here and then we can put a ladder here too. That shouldn't cause any issues. Yeah. So the efficiency is not as good on this, but it's less dupe effort. So for now, we'll do that. And later on, we'll do stuff with the algae terrariums to generate more heat so we can melt more of this ice. That's the purpose of going for algae terrariums this time. 
Yes, keep grabbing the granite. You're hopefully not dropping it down the chute. No, I don't think you are. That's good. Okay, you drop that one. <laughs> That's all right. Pressure is starting to fill up again. All right, you do need to dig these up. Well, actually, you can just dig this one up. Then, research-wise, we still don't have the advanced research skill. We don't have any skill points yet. Uh, so what else can we grab that we're going to need? Uh, we're definitely going to need the fire pole. Pole power is also important. Let's go for the rock crusher first. Because then we can get the fire pole right away and we can just... Because once we move this water into here, we can just tunnel straight up and down. And that'll make things nice and easy. Right, um, speed it up. So because the plant is dead, it's not applying a decor bonus, so it's not enough to get to the Great Hall. So on, on Rhyme in particular, you're going to struggle to get a uh, Great Hall unless you put it right in that 10 degrees area. Actually, I think, I think we can just swap this around. I think if we put the plant here, it'll be good enough. Try it. Yeah, you can come down here now, so already seven this as well. Yeah. In fact, maybe I should have even planted the plant here. You know what? Let's actually move this as well, because it is warmer over here. So, vessel goes, uh, mess table goes here. Ration box. We go here. You are not very fast at building things, are you? And then, the flower pot can go here instead. Have lamps. I'm not going to run lamps right away. We want to get automation before we start burning coal. That's probably one we can just research right away as well as smart home. There's a little bit of oxygen up here. You can't really reach it though, can you? We just want to dig over here just to let this uh, oxygen out. And then we can actually come up here as well. That'd be good. Skill points. These actually matter early on, so now you've got advanced research. Good job. I wonder when we'll uh, see our first meteor shower. Presumably, this rock fan trait will um, activate even if we can't see the meteors. Or will the game not generate meteors until we can see them? Red hair don't care under skill point. Let's see. Uh, building. Building is important. Could be building. Uh, all edibles should go in here. Probably nine. And then we can plant the plant over here where it's warmer and that should stay alive for a little while. So that should give us the great. There you go. Great hall. Woo. 
so we put these two buildings in this room so we get the laboratory bonus which gives an extra uh 10 percent research speed i believe it's additive so it's not that much with a skilled researcher but if you've got unskilled researchers doing stuff as well it does help and that's why the manual generator is in this other room Yeah, what about you, Ashcan? You can have hard digging as well. That makes sense. Yeah, oxygen's connecting up. We got some liquid chlorine over here. Nice, nice. Uh, there's more ice over here to melt. Um, one thing I like a lot about Rhyme is that all the slime that spawns is too cold to have germs on it. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to dig up slime and we're going to run it through algae distilleries. A, to get more algae, and B, to generate heat. Because again, the algae distillery um, outputs 30 degrees polluted water, no matter what the temperature of the slime is to start. And slime also has a very low heat capacity. So by turning it into polluted water, which is very high heat capacity, you're basically just adding a load of heat energy. You're multiplying the heat energy of this by about 15 times. That's what it said in the wiki. But, um, yeah. So we're going to be making a lot of polluted water. We're going to be filtering it a lot. And we're probably going to make a load of liquid reservoirs to help store up water. Because we're probably not going to rely on plants to do that initially. You're having a narcoleptic now. That's fine. Yeah, keep grabbing the granite. Um, you can actually dig out over here as well. One. We've got enough granite for this at the moment, so maybe let's just leave it for now. We do need to run on the wheel. Um, let's make sure someone's running on the wheel. We need... Yeah, that's the other thing about the algae terrain is they don't require power, which will help in this initial bit. Yeah, we definitely don't want to rush moving this water. Because if the water gets dumped somewhere where it's too cold, it will just start to freeze, and then we're going to be in trouble. We got a print. We got. <laughs> we got Frankie, a biohazardous mouth breather, who has plus seventeen strength. Well, we definitely don't want any mouth breathers, even if they are really strong. Look at that muscles point, uh, bumping out of their puffer jacket. That's funny. Uh, we got a farmer with increased cuisine and decreased agriculture. You. We got a plus five rancher with extra tidying but lower agriculture and increased cuisine um i think that's all right we definitely want someone with ranching even if they have decreased agriculture um <sighs> it is nice just to have a rancher and they could be the chef as well and they could be the they could be a plumber so that's a lot of role compression i think we take the blue hair Already. There you go. <laughs> He's the most alert dude. Right, um, let's give them tidying and cooking. Yeah, you can handle all those tasks for now, and then you can do ranching later. Uh, but for now, I think... I'm going to scully up to ranching once we start doing that. I'm going to give you tidying for now. Enjoy your hat. So now we need to make another bed. That's fine. Now we have someone to actually go grab all the stuff. Speed three this. Are you exhausted? 
Uh, let's add another downtime. Wake you up. Rock Crush and Kill. Uh, Rock Crush generates a lot of heat. We will definitely use this to make our initial refined metal. Just to get things started. But I'm not in a mad rush for that. Uh, let us grab... I think going for insulated tiles would be quite good. Let's just start going for insulated tiles. And we'll, we'll pick up the fire pole once we free up this water. I don't want to insulate the water. I want the water to sort of disperse its heat into the map. Because we're going to be heating... We're going to be converting cold water into hot polluted water anyways. So this tank won't be insulated, but the... This bit up here maybe will. We want to melt all of this. If we dig it, we lose half the mass, and that's a lot of water. Someone needs to build this. Me, one of you. There you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? So these are starting to run out of uses. They're mostly using this one to be fair. What are you talking about? Alright, that's fine. Uh, I should dig the space out so that you count as having a barracks as well, because this room is not big enough to count as a barracks at the moment. So we're not getting the plus one morale from that. It's okay. Oh, I need you guys to prioritize this digging. Sure. And again, the reason we're doing granite for this is because it's very good at resisting pressure damage compared to sandstone and other materials early on because it's so hard. So if you're making like a big water tank, you're going to want to do that. And I think, to be honest, what we're going to do is we're going to have this go up another two... And then we're going to put a door in here. And then that's the base level. That can be sandstone. And then we'll uh, ladder again here. There you go. And then once this is all finished down here, we can, um, we can dig this water out. And I'll put the pitcher pump over here. Right, maybe what I'll do is I'll have two. One over here and one over here. I want a ladder going across the middle here just for them to uh, reach all of this stuff. Congratulations, you unlocked gas. No farting today. No farting ever again. There we go. Good job with that. We're good to actually get this opened up. Right, so you're finished with this now. That's good. So, let us pick this out. And let all that water out into here, but I'm going to wait to do that. A little bit. That should be fine. We'll wait until the last moment to release the water. Then this ladder can come out here. This ladder can come out here.
Yeah, you're really cranking out the research. That's good. The yeah, temperature over here is still fairly hot, so no risk of melting. Or no risk of freezing. Oh, I guess there's no risk of water melting either. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, let's make sure that you don't drown yourselves. Uh, we are going to want to pick up all the stuff that we dump in the water tanks and not crawling around in the middle of the water tank. So let's do that. Let's make a storage bin area over here. Just for now. Yeah, this shouldn't cause any issues. That shouldn't cause any issues either. Oh, oh right, the fertilizer was leaking. Oh, that's funny. Uh, put a tile here. You can hear that dripping quite loudly. Well, a little bit of water will be fine. Can we fix this before it drips? Yes. Doesn't show you how much it's been dug out. Yeah, fertilizer is quite soft, that makes sense. Still gonna be getting soggy feet now. Um, I'm not gonna bother sweeping this up, believe it or not. Uh, this we said to sweep only nine or copy those settings across and then. Yeah, let's grab... Let's grab all this stuff once we're ready to open it up. I think that makes sense. In fact, I think we're pretty close to being ready to open it up. Because we, uh... Can't release any of that sand. I'm going to dig through here fairly soon. We're done over here. So yeah, I think we'll open it up next cycle. We do need to clean this out. Liam has tidying as a priority, so they should do that at some point. They're currently enjoying having a mingle. So how about that pretty pod? Well, I got printed the other day. Wow, what a coincidence. Me too. Oh, also, real life tip: don't put your um, don't put your bottle of liquids by the um, exhaust of your laptop. <laughs> it's going to get very hot. Right, I think we're done. Let's just open this up. Uh, let's just get this swept up. So priority nine sweep, and then we'll uh, we'll deconstruct this. <clears throat> and this is just so you don't have to come in here and grab all of this later. We don't have any super high carrying capacity dupes. This is a lot of dirt. Well. Oh, we've got another link. Uh, it's this one here. If I reinforce it like this, that should be... Yeah, red hair don't care is on the job. There you go. So you can see it was this side that was causing the issue because it was it was squirting out to the side. Yeah, this is probably gonna take you a little while actually, isn't it? I'm even that bothered about this. Oh, let's, uh, let's enable proximity in the errands as well. I don't think I ever actually did this on the Paku run. It's kind of amusing. Okay, grab everything from left to right. We'll see how long it takes. I don't really want to do more than a day of you all grabbing stuff, realistically.
But we don't have a super strong dude. <laughs> that was the function of the other guy. Just to grab all this stuff really quickly. But we didn't want a mouth breather. Yeah, you guys take ages. Perhaps if we uh, stop the research, that will help. Oh, by the way, here's a tip: don't build, don't build space heaters. They're rubbish. They're really bad. 18 kd to use for 120 watts. You know what else uses 120 watts and generates heat on a rhyme map? An algae distiller. That generates about 100 kd to use of heat because you're getting all the hot, polluted water out of it. And you're getting algae, which you need. I, I never realized how much heat you can actually generate from the polluted water buildings until I looked it up today. I think this is going to take too long. Keep getting there. Trying your best. Yeah, you're literally all here. But this would take a lot longer with it being covered in water. So maybe this is worthwhile. There's this material under here. Maybe this will happen faster. Sweep this up as well. They're not liking the soggy feet. This is a case where if we set the stress to max, the uh, soggy feet would really be killing us. You're exhausted. Why are you exhausted? You should have time to get everything done you need to get done. I don't like giving them two bedtime slots immediately, but I think we are going to. I think, I've, I think I'm just coming to the conclusion that one bedtime would technically save time if they didn't miss the slot occasionally. But yeah, let's get you out of here. Let's manually interrupt the exhaustedness so they don't waste all their time. Narcoleptic means stuff will get dropped between sweeps occasionally, so that'll be annoying, but that's not too bad. Exhausted again. No. No, you're not. Get up. Now you go to sleep. Oh, you should get a, uh... You should get some... Floor as well. That would be good. Also, I think... Let's put the picture pump here. Don't need to do the research for now, just keep shifting this stuff for a minute. A lot of stuff over here. Not too much. I could have put some more storage bins over here, but I think the quantity of material is low enough that it's not that important. No hypothermia now. That's all right. Yeah, you really don't want them running around in the water too much, especially on rhyme. Yeah, now they're getting. Now they're both getting it. So the hypothermia does decrease their science, machinery, construction, and cuisine. So if they're just digging, hypothermia doesn't matter. I mean, the sneeziness is annoying. Yeah, I think at this point I'm just gonna. Yeah, you guys can dump what you've got left, and then uh, you can pick this out. Right, let's dig this out then. Yeah, 
this. Go ahead and dig. <laughs> Let it all out. Good job, guys. Make sure to put some showers in later as well so they don't get as, um... So they don't get as, um... Oh. No granite here so you're not going to trap yourselves. Yep, we've got hypothermia. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Who's such a drama queen? Very organized deconstruction going on here. Yeah, you can dig that as well. And then... I think once we've done all of that, we could just let the rest of this water out here as well. Yeah. Every single dupe is hypothermia now. Great. Perfect. Good job, guys. Um, right, and then I think what we'll do is we'll just open this up. Build this ladder here. And then that will let that water out down here. You can dig this sand up to make sure that all of that water goes in there. Idle, you're idle. Um, and then we've got water. And then I need to start thinking about these algae terrariums. Where all the polluted water is going to go. We do want this to generate heat. I think it makes sense for it to go up here, because this is where the ice is, because there's ice here, ice here. So I think perhaps we just put it above the main water tank. <laughs> Rude of them to get sick when you gave them those warm jackets. I know, right? Unfortunately, those are not actual warm jackets. They're just stylish. Um, anyways, it seems like a good time to get the fire pole. You guys are slowly getting cured of hypothermia. Yeah, so let that water out down here. That shouldn't build up. Oh, looks like it is. Hold on. Build the yellow alert tile. I think we might be alright. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, we lost a little bit of water. Ooh, that's not good. Who's doing this? <laughs> well, they just celebrated themselves getting rid of hypothermia. Perhaps we should have opened it up over here. Okay, you know what? I think it uh, might not matter anymore. Just don't worry about it. We let a little bit of water down here. We can sweep this up. Let's actually sweep this up. Before it freezes. It might not even actually freeze down here. Let's sweep it up anyways, and then we can stick a bottle empty in here or something. What's in the pod? Uh, nobody needs rocketry. A decorator might be worthwhile. A decorator with shabby decor. Shabby dresser. None of these dupes are shabby dresses. I've dressed them all for you. Hmm. I really want rocketry. I mean, maybe just Gossman just to have the doc doctoring and decorating and then no one else needs to worry about it. Blossoms through upgraded restrooms. We do have blossom seeds already, so I'm not super worried about that. They are around. I think we'll take the decorator because we're not going to be able to plant plants as easily. It might be worth getting someone decorating fairly quickly. So we'll, we'll take Gossman. And then they can prioritize... Doctoring and decorating. And otherwise, they can just hang out and have fun. So you can have decorating. There you go. Might as well have one. And you can help out with everything else too. So you can go here. Does not need to be yellow alert. There you go. 
go build that. And then lots of food over here. We will need to get started on the bristle blossoms. But I want to get these algae terrariums done first. We can just start generating heat. And for now, it looks like I can put um, a bottle empty over here. I'll eventually put a mesh tile here. But for now, we'll just put a regular tile. Actually, how much research is the mesh tile? A little bit. Yeah, we'll just put a regular tile in there for me. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, grab all the water, please. Then we'll speed up again. We are grabbing the fire pole, and then we'll go all the way up here and down. And I guess we can sweep this up as well. Because we want to make sure that all the water is in here and that we don't let it freeze too much. There is a little bit more water here. Oh, there's more ice down here. Well, that complicates things. So algae terrariums do consume a little bit of carbon dioxide. Do I put it down here? Does that make sense? It's quite cold down here. They consume it optionally, so they don't need to consume it to run, but they do consume it a little bit by running. Right, I think that's up to you guys. What do you think? Should we have the algae trams up the top or down the bottom? Because we're going to have a pump for them long term. What we're going to do is we're going to use a liquid pump and a valve, and we're going to drip the right amount of water on them. We have them down here, they can eat some more carbon dioxide. And maybe we can just pour the polluted water down here to melt this ice. Or we can just have them here so they're a bit more central. I mean, we'd want the extra oxygen to be down here as well, wouldn't we? Because that's why we're struggling to get oxygen at the moment. I'm going to let the bottom seem like only upside. Yeah, let's put it at the bottom then. Because there is stuff to melt down here. There's this ice here. I might just put it here for now. And then we'll decide what to do. Yeah, we'll just put it here for now. So this could be sandstone because it's not going to be too big. Uh, lower IMO. Helps more than top and gives you room in case you want to do mushrooms. Yeah, I need to think about how to do that again. Actually, yeah, don't bother with that for now. Just keep doing the research. We'll get the fire pole in then so we can come down here as well. Obviously, we need to make sure the water doesn't freeze immediately, but... Yeah. Well, it's not too cold in this bit. I wish this... I wish this mode was a bit more useful. Because the, the blue temperatures... Like, these are not distant different enough to be meaningful, a meaningfully able to tell the temperature apart on this view, which annoys me. I think what I want to do is I want to, I want to put it fairly low. I want to put it fairly low and then let's just put it over here for now. Yeah, let's put it over here. So, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's stick it here for now. Um, we want to dump, yeah, because we want to dump the polluted water on this ice. So let's actually make this... Make that an 11 tile wide room for me. 
so it matches in with our others. So five terrariums are enough for two dupes. So we're going to need to make a couple of these, I guess. These do take up a lot of space, so we're probably going to have a lot of rooms like this. And then we're going to end up pumping the uh, oxygen. Because unlike the algae diffusers, they do overpressurize areas. Yeah, so dig this out. Let's go a ladder over here. We need the gases to dissipate. And then we can just dig all of this out. Should be fine. You guys can come up for oxygen for now. Um, we can dig this out as well, because that's where we're going to put the fire pole. Right, let's speed up again. And then this could be water. Just dump water in here if you've not got anything better to do. So fire pole, and then we'll want the liquid-based stuff. So the fire pole can go here. And then we can dig all of that up. I'll probably end up doing a few of these rooms. I'll probably do some down here consuming the CO2, and I'll do some up here, just so that the polluted water doesn't have to go as far. Because we're going to be using bottle emptiers to empty the polluted water over the ice. We're going to need lights as well. So we want ceiling lights. Uh, let's research... I mean, we can use airflow tiles for the ceiling lights. Let's research the liquid pump stuff. Because we'll want to pump... We'll want to pump the water in here, and we'll want to use... We we'll want to use the liquid valve to limit the amount of flow. You dumb, where is that? Liquid valve. Oh, that's part of pressure management. Okay, so the liquid thing is in the gas technology. That makes sense. So we already have that. So yeah, let's just get the pump and then we can then we can just drip the water in here. Because you don't need to manually load water into these algae terrariums. You can just drip the water in and it'll be fine. So we'll set the flow rate, we'll have a switch, do stuff like that. Uh, we'll want smart home as well. We'll want to make a rock crusher. So let's see. We're going to illuminate all of this. We'll probably just have two lights. One here, one here. And then this can be... This can be airflow tile. And this wire can come down here. Yeah, you guys have lots of stuff to build. That's good. Now we have water, so that pump can go here. I don't really need to automate that, because they're not going to run out of water. Uh, the pipe can go down here as well. The wire can go up here. So you'll notice that the um, this part of the map will start to get colder and colder as the, the heat radiates outwards into these colder regions. So even though you start with heat, you do need to generate more, otherwise things will start to cool down. So that's the other reason why we want all this water over here, because it's a big heat sink. So we know at least the area by the water isn't going to cool down too much, because it absorbs so much heat energy. But this plant is going to stagnate fairly soon, which is another reason why I wanted the decorator. Let's just put that there. We've got a little bit of uh, polluted dirt being produced. 
let us we're probably gonna want some Dio rises for the fleet of water as well what next let's get the automation we'll put the rock crusher in somewhere actually you know what deconstruct this let's put the rock crusher over here We'll put the rock crusher over here and then that will generate a bit more heat to help keep this plant alive. And for, for food for now we're just going to keep digging up muck roots until we have the polluted water from these algae terrariums. We're going to use the heat from the algae terrariums to do a lot and we're going to use that to keep our bristle blossoms warm. Reach more food. Uh, Oh, you can't get out of here. Right, you need to you need to build this immediately. We need something. Yeah, build that please. Ashcan is just not figuring out what to do. Yeah, go ahead and build this. Enjoy. Probably a good idea, so all the hatches are collecting down here because of the digging. Probably a good idea to extend this down here and bring the CO2 down a bit further. Grab some more of this material. So we can keep digging down here. So eventually we're going to want to dump the polluted water in this ice too. To melt that. So the other thing is, the polluted water will off gas and we can deodorize that to get some more oxygen. But we'll also need to filter a fair amount of it for a sieve. Because the algae terrariums pollute so much water, we're going to just straight up run out of water very quickly unless we filter it. So, what we'll do is we'll dump it over here. We'll have a pump over here to pump it up, um, and then we'll and then we'll have the sieve somewhere over here as well. We'll probably put the sieve here. This is where all the bathrooms are. So I think what I'll do is I'll put um, the sieve here and then maybe some showers over here, or, or flip it around, maybe. Ooh, we got a sparkler. He's sparkling. Right, so we got the what we got the the lights here. These are for the uh, efficiency boost. The algae terrarium gets a ten percent efficiency boost in light. So we'll disconnect these until we actually start feeding them. Yeah, big beans. Yeah, that's the automation stuff. So you do need to deconstruct these as well. It's fine. You can dig this out as well. Just let the CO2 fall down here a little bit. It will naturally build up in these pools anyways, just because of how the airflow works. So that's why we're doing it like this with one door. And then, so each algae terrarium, each algae terrarium consumes 300 grams of water per second. So each of these rooms will consume 3,300 per second, which means um, we'll need uh, one pump to feed three of these rooms, and each room will feed four dupes more or less. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to come here, 
Uh, what I'll do is I'll just put the... I'll put it in here. We'll put the liquid valve here. Then we'll put the vent here. And then it'll be nice and central, so everything should get... It's more or less central, so everything should get inundated pretty well. I don't think I've built an algae terrarium on screen. I'm excited. Not normally something I get excited about, but here we are. And uh, we're just going to build these doors here. Let's party nine this. I want to keep the shine bugs in this area. And then maybe they'll help illuminate the, um, the rock crusher. Should lure some shine bugs in here as well. We're also gonna want the we're gonna want the coal power, I think, before we start really doing this. Because pumping that water is gonna take some power. Let's see. So What other research do we need? We need the conductive wire for the... No, we need the smart battery for the coal. That's what we need to do. Let's research a smart I don't know where I'm going to put that. I think eventually we're going to reshuffle a lot of these rooms. Ooh, we got a cool steam vent. That is down here. Contrary to popular belief, it is not very cool. It is quite hot. That's a heat source. We can let that drift over here and just start melting this ice. That'd be pretty good. The thing is, because the whole map is so cold, this stuff condenses super easily. So we can just let it vent into the environment for ages. We just need to open it up and let the water flow. Uh, so Rock Crusher can go over here. Looks like the guys are cooperating. That's nice. Um, I'm going to leave a gap anyways. We'll put two in. We won't need two for now, but whatever. Uh, that can go here. And then what I'll do as well is I'll put a door. I'll put some doors here and we'll hopefully trap some of these shine bugs in here. Right, so set this to 3,300. We can get one of these rooms working to start. That won't be too much power. We'll get one of these rooms working before the coal power, I think. Yeah. I'm unsure of where I'm going to put all my branches because we're going to have a lot of hatch branches at some point, but it depends where everything is. I mean, obviously we're not going to put it here where it clashes with the volcano. I want to do a big column. So maybe it will be, maybe it'll be this area. So a massive set of them. Maybe long term we'll, we'll not have an access shaft here. We'll just have all the hatch branches be in the base. That. But we'll need to see where these geysers are. Wow, you're still going down here. That's quite a mission. We got a diamond geode. That's pretty interesting. Uh, I think this can be lower priority. Don't worry too much about it. Plant is stifled. Feels bad. Yeah, if you could uh, probably nine this, that would be amazing. This guy's quite elderly, so hopefully another one wanders in here. I'll need to add more mess tables in. And we need to go dig more food as well. Maybe uh, stop adding goops for now. Oh, we forgot to uh, stop dripping this. 
Okay, let's turn that off for now. Uh, so that's gonna freeze, that's uh, hardly annoying. Maybe it's time we just plug this in. You can put these over... You can put these over uh, mechanized airlocks to uh, A, let the polluted water drop down, and B, to turn the machines off. So maybe that's what we do. Maybe we put some mechanized airlocks in here, uh, but then, then all the water would get lost as well. But yeah, we'll get, we'll get those in here. Um, I think, actually, maybe these should be made out of insulated tiles so the water just... Is this going to freeze really quickly here at the moment? Yeah, let's make these out of insulated tiles. What I'll do is... Uh... These can actually be 32 long, so I'm just going to dig them out the full 24. Then you guys can grab, you guys can grab also. And we can put more beds in as we need. Yeah, max size 64. So 24 by 2 is, is absolutely fine. And then I'll give you a bit more food for a little bit. Uh, let's up the priority on the insulated tile relative to the rest of this. We have a bug. This is the old bug. So we'll let another one in later. Uh, you need to seal this. And then we can put another bed here in case we put another dude. We can dig these tiles out. That's fine. Enjoy your mucker. All generators are there. Somehow the water hasn't frozen yet. Still. Building entombment. Yep, sand. There you go. Ashkan gets a barracks all to themselves. We'll have a look at their radius in a minute and use that to determine where the next door goes. But any other loud sleepers we'll get, we'll, we'll uh, keep down here as well. You're all gonna get actually you're all gonna get um very cold down here. I need to sweep that up. In fact, let's actually make that a yellow alert so you don't get hypothermia. Yeah, just grab it immediately, please. No hypothermia for you guys. Except for the one that already got it. <laughs> Right, we need to make a little bit of refined metal. So you can make 10 lots here, 10 lots here. You've got the shine bug, that's good enough for now. Open this door and let the other little guy in. So, how much light do these guys need? These guys need... Oh, I don't think it says. Direct light. I think if they're just in the radius, it's good enough. But honestly, I haven't used this building in ages, so... <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, 
Yeah, go ahead and dump all that water in here. We got some confused shine bugs over here. Fly wherever they want. What's in the pod? Uh, we got a builder with critter ranching. That's pretty good. I don't think I can reasonably turn it down. Although, this dude here, operating. So we need a dedicated operator to make sure someone is doing the operating. They have athletics, they have construction. Downside doesn't matter at all. I think we take Lindsay. I think this is too good to ignore. Right, Lindsay, you can be printed. Um, for now, I'm just gonna make another mess table over here, mess all over here. Not quite like that. And that can go like this. We can dig out all this food. Yeah, that seems good. So, I think this is going to be the internal side of the base. This is going to be... And this is going to be where we have like a big column of branches. So what I'll do is I'll probably put docks up here. And then let people down here. Actually, that's a good point. Can I fire pull that? If I seal it off. Not quite because of neutronium. I could, but there, I'd have to, there wouldn't be a convenient transit tube route. Hmm. We could maybe set it up to go past the steam vent. We'll see. There's another geyser here, though. We'll build, we'll build this here. Anyways, Lindsay, you can have operating. You can prioritize all the operating time. It's very nice just to fill out, like, one person dedicated to doing each task at the start. I like that a lot. And then this can be a priority nine, just to make sure that Lindsay is somewhere to eat. Imagine that. Hey, Trouble Queen! It looks like the raid alert actually, um, worked this time, so... <laughs> we got our shower of pogs. How are you doing? I saw you were playing Oni earlier. I, I didn't really have time to stop by and say hi, but I hope it's going well. What have you been up to today? We have started a new rhyme run, and I'm about to set up some algae terrariums. So we're just trying to get some of the initial stuff done first. Um, I want to get coal power up. I clicked the wrong button again. <laughs> Bed and bath. There you go. Your cat fell. It was sad but funny. Sad times. Uh, let's get the skill point that we wanted. So, Pav, you can get super hard digging. That sounds good to me. We'll need to make sure that Devon gets field research next, which I'll get in a minute. Let's do a quick fish update. Whiskers was around earlier. I don't think you can really see Whiskers anymore. I think they've hidden again. But, um, one of the platies hiding in the shade down there. Nomming on some plants. Yeah, that's about it. And then where's the props? Alright, we've got a fish in the props. Righty, so we did the research. Uh, oh, you got the uh, smart battery. So we need to make a smart battery. Coal, coal power needs to be the next thing we do. I don't think we actually need to get anything else yet. Clicking the wrong button. Okay. So let's not do any research for now. Let's just get everything else done. Uh, in fact, let's actually... Let me move this over here again. We don't need a, a ration box in that one. I think I'll put... Well, plant doesn't matter either. I'm just gonna put this here. There's probably nine these things. But yeah, I'm gonna do some stuff with the algae terrariums because I want to demonstrate that they generate a lot of heat. Uh, because the polluted water they generate is hot. 
And we're going to pour on ice and melt the ice. That's what we're going to do. But we're also going to dig around for more food. Um, we do have the water here. And if we look at the bristle blossoms. So the bristle blossoms grow down to about 5C. So we could feed them with this water and it'll be fine. Um, we could start doing that. I want to start melting some of this water first if we can. The plants do take a little while to grow. So maybe we should get on that sooner rather than later. Maybe we start doing the bristle blossom farm over here. So let's make... We've already got the water pump here. Um, we could get hydroponics research. Yeah, let's do that. I would like not to run out of um, food. But we do tend to print way more dupes than we can reasonably manage, so... Yeah. Right, let's get this power set up, though. We need this power immediately, so... <sighs> Again, we mostly just want to melt the ice. The plans are melting the ice. I think what I'm going to do is... We want to keep this water... Well, we don't care about this water keeping warm. We, we want... We don't mind this water being cold because we're going to make it hot with these. I think I'm overthinking it. I think I just need to put the coal generators down here. Let's put the coal generators down here, where all the coal is. Uh, so I'm just going to start with two. They're just going to be connected up to a smart battery. We need to make the... Um, we need to make the... Why are we doing this? Oh, what a... <laughs> it just reminds me of that quote. I think it was from The Simpsons. The older I get, the more I like the taste of hot water. But um, uh, I actually got a very interesting birthday present. I got a um, I got a mug. I picked this one out. This wasn't a surprise. I got a mug where I can connect it to my phone, and it will detect the temperature of the drink, and it will send me an alert when the drink is at the right temperature, so that I drink it when it's at the right temperature, and. In addition to this, it also has an induction heater built in, so it will keep my drink at the same heat. Um, so the, co the cup of coffee is at the perfect temperature from the moment I take my first sip to when I'm drinking the last little bit of the bottle. And it's really weird, like having like having the drink be the same temperature the whole time. But it's so nice. Um, and it actually uh, comes with a, char a wireless charging coaster, which I got as well. <laughs> so I pimped out my workplace beverage situation. I haven't got it here. I'm keeping it at the office. Because I, the drinks I get here, um, they tend to retain their heat a bit better. But yeah, we got some refined metal now. You guys are cracking on with that. Um, we can make some automation wire to start. I can just go over here for now. And then wire-wise, this can go in here me to it again. Uh, looks like, sadly, the, uh, the shine bug has not been lured back in here. Perhaps we'll just leave them over there for now and build some lights. Perhaps we'll build a light to attract them and then turn it off. That sounds like a thing. Then we can remove this. I feel like I haven't quite decided where everything is going yet. This feels a little bit higgly piggly, but that's alright. Right, we have enough uh, for this. That's the main thing I wanted. And I can go there, and then cancel this. Uh, 
Priority nine this, because we just need to make sure the dupes are actually uh, not having to run the wheel. That would be ideal. That was right. Done speed two. And this will generate a bit more heat down here as well. This will just keep erupting to the end of time, so this area around here we should slowly start the heat up. There's still a lot of chill down here though, and a lot of mass. So digging the tiles removes half the mass. So we're gonna want to dig a lot to re um, reduce the amount of chill in these tiles by half. And also to acquire the food. And that's why I'm not in such a hurry to get... Oh, look, wait. <laughs> Close it. Close it. We don't need to build this light. Yeah, there you go. That one is... Yeah, that's good. So cancel this for now. We'll just keep a shine bug in here. We'll build the lights later, but I'm going to use these guys for now. Yeah, get the coal power up and running, set this to 90, set this to 10, so that we don't accidentally overflow on power. I believe in you, Gosman, you can do it. And then we can remove this. But you need to, you need to, you need to serve these right away. Also, we need to add a list. I, I forgot to do this. Fertilizer, coal, rust is relevant. Uh, hatchling eggs, shine length eggs are probably relevant. Dirt, sand, ice, copper, algae, granite, igneous rock are relevant. Copper, that sounds good. All right, Devin got a skill point. What you got? Uh, you're gonna get field research. Good. Okay, and these are full. So that's good. So now we can deconstruct this stuff over here. In fact, we can deconstruct these as well. Deconstruct the battery, and then we can put something else in here. Don't worry about these batteries anymore. <laughs> Lindsay is on her own, sadly eating her muck room in the lonely room, which isn't even a room because we need to finish it. I should think about nature reserves. I would think about nature reserves, but there's not really plants that are alive. We'll probably solve that with pit planting later, realistically. I think we'll be alright for now. Oh right, I was going to put the, um, the sieve somewhere. I guess we'll put the sip down here. This has not been very organized. I'll fit two showers in here. This could be a very miscellaneous shower room. And then... Sip can go in here. Now, these things produce so much polluted water, we're probably going to want a sieve dedicated to the algae terrariums and a sieve dedicated to the bathroom and have them be independent. Because I don't want the bathrooms getting clogged up because we're trying to deal with algae terrariums. So yeah, this could be either two sieve room. Liam is doing his duty. A hard duty. Yeah, you guys are nearly finished on the copper, that's fine. 
I would like to lure some shine bugs in here, to be honest. It would be good if you guys actually wanted them in here. I'm going to have shine bugs illuminate this bit. Speed up again. Uh, I think you need to prioritize this stuff now. Get these finished. Then we'll get these set up. And then in terms of... In terms of this ice, I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to... I'm going to put a ladder in here. I'm going to insulate this whole bit for now. We need some more igneous rock. Jizz the stuff. There's a lot of igneous rock over here by the hydrogen. We can grab this. Actually, let's not grab that because that's going to invalidate the bedroom. Just grab this. I'll do. Dig, dig, dig. And then we'll pour the polluted water in here, and the heat from that should melt this. And then maybe we'll put a filter in or something. Yeah, keep it on speed too. You guys do need a bit more food, so you need to keep digging. So, we know we want to dig that out. There's also this. Dig that plant out as well. Dig that out. This bit is nearly done. So, we should be able to pour water in here. It shouldn't get too cold. So... do that and then what I'll do for now is I'll just stick a bottle empty here and this will be for polluted water and if I build a ladder over here then you guys shouldn't need to go down here at all because it's going to be all wet down here I didn't think I didn't need to build these ladders here, but that's okay. So the polluted water can go here, uh, which means I think we can just plug this in. So let's see. Our wires can be reconnected now that we have coal. Uh, these can be built. We'll dump a little bit of water in there just to get the level of water decent. So that should not... Yeah, that won't decrease in temperature too much. We've got about, I don't know, 50 kilograms in here before we start doing everything else. 50 kilograms per tile. Got the hydroponic farms as well. I don't need to build a park sign down there. You're already dumping the polluted water down here. What was that from? Oh, I think that was from the wash basins. Yeah, that's fine. It could be germy water. You don't need to disinfect this. Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on a minute. You have become a hazard. Get over here. Hey, hey. 
Yeah, then you need to keep digging this out. You need to actually build these. Yeah, you can just sit in the polluted water, that's fine. Still running through here, despite the fact there's ladders. Oh, because of this thing. Yeah, let's get these built now. Then we can actually see the effect of these on the heat. And then what I'll probably do... I'll seal this off so we can just have the polluted water fill this bit up. Maybe I just put another one over here. Maybe that's what I do. Then that'll be enough oxygen for eight dupes. Ta-da! You guys will fill these right away with stuff because it's a life support errand. Yeah, keep digging the igneous rock, that's fine. Speed up a little bit. Yay, there we go, algae. Yeah, and you can see, even though this is right on the edge of the light, it's emitting 44 grams per second of oxygen, which means it's getting the lit work space bonus. And it's consuming the CO2 that's already in the room. So the polluted water builds up in here until it needs emptying and then the dupe will come and empty it. And the dupe has to come and empty it. I don't think there's... I don't know another way of doing this. I think does automate it with the mechanized airlocks mean the dupe doesn't have to operate it? Is that a thing? Then let's get these... let's get these done as well. And then this polluted water can all be... can all be hot. And then we'll end up with a little bit of polluted oxygen down here, but that's fine. And we'll just stick a few deodorizers around the place. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these doors. And then I'm going to stick a lamp in each of these. Oh, I forgot to use the custom ones. Let's use the custom lights. I keep forgetting to use these. Uh, we're going to use the mining ceiling lights. It's called. Yeah, we'll put some lights in here and then we'll, um... We can disconnect them if we get a shine bug in here. Yep, you guys are all asleep. Good job. That's a lot of loud snoring. Then food-wise, let's actually start planting the bristle blossoms as well. So those will make a farm with the farm station for this. So that will go there, and then the bristle blossoms proper will go over here. I can go like that. Not sure how many of these we'll have, but we'll need to seal this off as well. We need to dig this, dig these. The ladder can go up here. Fire pole can go here. 
And then you can pick this as well. Yeah, the algae shenanigans begin. And you'll start to notice the temperature climb up in here because the polluted water that gets stored in these comes out at 30 degrees. And it exchanges heat with the environment. So we'll make sure they keep dumping the polluted water in here, but you'll notice that this area here is going to start warming up right away. And we'll put the lights back on as well. So this can be... These ones here can be the blossoms. Here you go. Blossom light. This area is a bit low down for the... Uh... For the uh, shine dogs. So I'm just going to put some regular lights in here. And I think... This will do. Yeah, I like that. What's the purpose of the water on the floor in the algae terrarium room? Um, the main purpose is so that the dupes don't have to fill the terrariums with water. Because otherwise they have to do it. But if the water is on the floor, um, the buildings just absorb the water themselves. There's one less errand for your dupe to do. And I guess in this case it also um, helps equalize the temperature of all the stuff in the terrarium and out of it. Because um, we want the heat from the polluted water to help heat up the colony. Because the, the polluted water always comes out at 30 degrees. So that's what the water is for. And what we've done is we've set the valve here to the exact amount to keep these guys running. So the water level should stay constant in here. It shouldn't overfill with water once these are all built. We've let it overfill a little bit just so there's a bit of leeway. Um, but yeah, they're pretty much getting ready. And then we'll build the lamps. Get those in there again. The other ones can wait a little bit. And then we can put some tiles over here. Deconstruct these, and then we'll make the farm station here and start doing the bristle blossoms. Yeah, no research for now, we just need to get stuff done. So that can go in here. Yeah, we want to melt all of this ice, and we want to start harvesting this cool steam vent water as well. Yeah, there's a lot of ice to melt, so that's what we're going to try and do. Yeah, it's already heating up in here. And then we're going to get this insulated, and then we'll uh, melt this by covering it in all the polluted water. Right, skills. Redhead don't okay. care. You get building again. That's fine. You've all got oxygen to breathe over here now. That's good. Uh, right, I think the next thing is sieves. We have the sieve. Uh, that's a distillation, so no. That's the other thing we're going to want to do. is We're going we're gonna to want to start distilling slime pretty quickly, but we're going to do that next screen. Well, next Oni screen. I, I'm going to resume Dyson Sphere program now that we've finished Flip Barters. So tomorrow will be Dyson Sphere program. And we'll keep that on Fridays. And then it will be it will be Rhyme Revenge on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. That's the plan. Yeah. Okay. Resources low water. Oh, you're actually drinking the water quite quickly. What's going on? These are consuming. I mean, these are supposed to... Con oh, right, I see what the issue is. So the building is absorbing all of the water. And it's storing it. So it's not running out of water. It's just building up internally. So this needed a bit more of a buffer. But this is going to fill up again. But we do need it to fill up again so that it actually flows. So maybe we'll... Uh, 
Maybe we'll increase this for now, just to get it flooded again, and then we'll uh, let it go again. Yeah, we need the heat from this polluted water to uh, this up. So speed up. Yeah, let's get this to like 100 kg. We need to not show resources low on any of them. And of course, this is where the uh, uranium lead lump is as well. I should probably just grab this lead, but we've already made some copper. We have a chlorine vent over here. That's good to know. Maybe we'll stick the puff branch here then. We will do that again, and we will make it slightly better. You guys are getting hypothermia again from being in this cold, polluted water now that it's cooled down. Which is not helping you build this. The uh, hypothermia lowers your construction skill a lot. That'll do. Set this back to the original flow rate. And then we can probably just turn this off in a minute. We got some more stuff. Uh, these dupes have a lot of diverse rests. I think we need food, so we're going to put some more food. Yellow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've uh, given the dupes the uh, lemon jackets because we thought they could use a little bit of um, placebo effect from their clothes to keep warm. And that has been the case. Everyone's been getting hypothermia from us pouring all these liquids everywhere. Yeah, this should, this should be good now. These are all full of water now. I don't think we have all of the lemon stuff, but we have enough. But yeah, you're not going to have the errand to dump the polluted water until it gets a certain amount. Ugh. But it will still exchange some heat with this, but most of the heat will be output from the bottle empty. And then that should help melt this. Right, so Liam, uh, we're going to give you plumbing just so you can do it, and then we're going to get you into ranching. Ash can, you can have super hard digging as well. Owl wise lamp can connect up here. Let's drop this. So once this tile is done, this should uh, pull up. Oh look, the uh, sort of water melted. Immediately refrozen. That's some shenanigans going on down here. Sleeping sausages. It's funny how they give off the uh, polluted oxygen bubbles or what looks like them when they've got hypothermia. Kind of weird. Yeah, we want the plum bathroom to work as well. So let's yeah, we've got the sieves, I believe. No, we're getting we're getting there. Once we've got the sieves, we can sort out the bathroom. So I'd like to do that today as well. Right, so that's now done. So this should heat up once you guys start loading the polluted water into it. Well that's alright. This water is going to drain very quickly, though. It is probably worth us getting down here, letting this just flow over here. Because we want to melt all of this. This map is very cold, though. We can let this erupt for a little bit longer before we start doing that. Yeah, you guys can finish these things in the meantime. We need the bristle blossoms. It's 
It's probably a little bit more food you can grab in the meantime, though. Let's keep grabbing... I keep grabbing this stuff. Yeah, oxygen's pretty good now. The water's looking good. Consuming some carbon dioxide that's coming over here. I think food is the next thing we need to sort out. There is more food up here as well. So we can keep grabbing this. So yeah, let's just keep expanding out for now. And then we can dig all of these up. Ah, look. Our plan worked. We uh, led a guy in here. Uh, this guy is fairly young, so we should lay an egg. Um, oh, I could probably just disconnect these lights. Then we'll leave this one open as well, and we'll make some more mess tables once we get to that point. Right, sieves are done. Sieves are done, algae distillers are done. The algae distillers are going to be in Teclatons as well. Because we're going to be mining all this slime. Probably trying to melt all this polluted ice as well. So I think we're going to have a dedicated sieving room. I think one of the sieves is going to go to the bathrooms. And it's going to be over here. And the other one is going to be over here. And it's going to serve the um, only terrariums. Maybe we'll even have three sieves. Then, or maybe what we'll do for now is we'll have two sieves and we'll have some liquid reservoirs too. And we'll have a liquid reservoir of uh, clean water. I think we're going to do that instead of pumping it into plants for now. Ah. Put that back. There you go. So dig that out, connect this up. And then plumbing wise, we'll just get this set up right away. So usual stuff going on over here. And then we'll do the same for the showers. So well, that's going to be water. We go up here, and then the polluted water will come out of here. Time for more annoying pipes. No, I don't think it is. So that could be the clean water pipe. And then this could be the polluted water pipe. And I'll stick a bridge on here. So that shower will empty into here and everything else will empty into here. So the polluted water goes into here, the clean water goes into here. And then the excess clean water will go into some liquid tanks. So let's research the liquid tanks. It's... Why, why do I think that would help? Reservoir. Yeah, improved plumbing. There you go. We'll put those in here instead of doing plants for now. If we look at the water sieve, let's just double check this. 
So water sieve stuff comes out at the normal temperature. So this isn't heat multiplying at all. If it was heat multiplying, we'd probably just dump it in here with the rest of this stuff. Yeah, let's get those pipes built. You guys have a lot of stuff to do. Um, you have food for now. You're going to keep digging food. So let's prioritize the bathrooms instead. You can get up here and grab more food, so that's good. Yeah, let's get this done. How are these doing? Yeah, oxygen levels are doing pretty well. Nice. Yeah, we'll probably keep going until cycle 20. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like we're getting close to dumping some of this hot polluted water down here. Uh, in fact, actually, now that I think about it, we might just want a whole load of bottle empty. So let's just... Uh... Make a load of tiles. Make sure that, uh... No, that's not right here. Ooh, look, we got overlap. It's rare. Yeah, build these. We'll just dump all the police water here. Make sure that everyone can dump it whenever they want. It would be good to get rid of these outhouses today. Yeah, you guys are all getting the lit workspace bonus because you're all wandering past the shine bug at some point. So that's good enough. And then hopefully one more gets lit in here. Got an egg. There's an egg in here. Nice. I like it. We'll need some lights in here for the Bristle Blossoms as well. Right, so this one here requires empty. So you can see here, the polluted water is still 23.8 degrees. Uh, this is an empty storage errand. Oh, okay, I get it. I would have thought these would have been life support errands. I guess not. Do the thing. Ah, so you have to climb down here to plunge the thing. Okay. You do have to get soggy feet doing that. It's alright. Now you can take that blue water and dump it up here. I feel like these ladders didn't really achieve anything. And now, yes, you're going to stand underneath the blue water. That's good. Yeah, it's starting to heat up over here. And this blue water is quite hot. And then eventually this is going to start contacting the ice, and then all the ice will melt. And then, and then we'll probably get a load of ice uh, water flowing in here, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, did we... Did we do the showers? No, that would be in sanitation. Oh yeah, that's the other thing we need. The actual outhouse and stuff. The actual lavatory. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Alright, let's speed up again. Let's get this all done today. So, this one will hook up later. 
Uh, this one is going to be for polluted water that we pump out of here. But I'm going to let the polluted water build up for a while and then we're going to do it. We'll probably need to do some liquid filtering on this while we're melting the ice. Yeah, as you can see, when they need to do these, you, you get a lot of people needing to do these tasks. You end up with a lot of bottles of polluted water. Yeah, nice and warm. Look at this. Look at this, we're getting some water from this already. Very speedy. It'll take a little while longer for this whole thing to melt, but uh, it should be pretty soon. And again, this bit here is insulated, so it should be good enough. We'll probably get a little bit of heat up here. Uh, it looks like you've poured a load of blue water in here, that's fine. Yeah, liquid reservoirs, that's fine. Yeah, I'm glad I'm trying something different to the previous rhyme run. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. Yeah, once this once this polluted water gets in contact with this, that'll be the real kicker. Right, let us put in let's research sanitation. So the liquid reservoirs will go here. These will just be full of clean water that we'll use later. Yeah, I'm going to do this as the thumbnail. I'm going to have the algae terrariums and the, the thermal overlay when it's started melting. It should start melting pretty soon. We can even set up some more algae terrariums and then just turn this thing off. Ooh, let's close this. We have a fairly young shine bug in here, so it should lay another egg. That's good. So, I think this ice down here will melt with the steam vent, ideally. There's another bit over here, actually. Hmm. Well, that's really close to the steam vent, so I think that we'll just open that up there. We've got one down here. Let's put, let's put one next to each ice block. I think that makes sense. Eventually, we're going to remove them, but for now, at the start of the game, it makes sense to do. Um, right. Let's see. So now we can replace all of this. So what I'm going to do is we'll put the showers in. We'll, uh... Connect this up to start. We'll just put a bridge in here. Then... then this will uh, do something else with. That was the wrong button. Something like this should be fine. No. Yes. Oh no, I need to bridge this, don't I? Yeah, I need to bridge this so that... 
It only comes from here if this bit gets full. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see now. Hold on. Right. There. Yeah, so this go like this. That should work. So the water will get sieved, and it will preferentially go into these bathroom items, and then if it doesn't, it will go into the reservoir. And then we'll feed that polluted water to probably the plants. Probably the plants we keep up here. You need to start growing these at some point. Let's uh, probably set them this. Probably set them to dig. And start digging uh, this algae out as well. That will help. There you go. You dig that out. You dig this. And then what I'll do as well. So that outhouse has one visit remaining. We'll just deconstruct these and we'll replace these with a plumb bathroom. And then once we've got one working, we'll uh, we'll get the others replaced. So let's see. The lavatory goes here. Yeah, this is filled up with water, that's good. The showers are not directly connected to this, but that's okay. Then sink can go here. I'll tell you what, I haven't done a first stream in a while of a run where we haven't had a plumb bathroom, and I wasn't going to do it today. But yeah, look how much blue water we have down here. This should... Fully contact the uh, place soon. The knees need to be set to pro nine. Well, these are full sand, which we have loads of. Yep, that's filling up. Yeah, this should all work. Let's actually just replace all of these now. There you go. I'm just going to put a storage bin down here so any polluted dirt we get just gets put shoved down there for now. And that way it won't... That way, if it does off gas, it'll be where all of this is. Got more shine bugs over here. Great. Uh, we can build a farm station. We do not currently have any more crop tending, so this won't be useful. We'll get these bristle blossoms planted. Uh, these need consistent light, so even though there's shine bugs in here, I'm going to put some lamps in here. Um, although we've actually ended up with. I don't know. I, I really don't want these to grow inconsistently. I think that will do. So let's get those lights set up. Then we can get the bristle bottles planted. Oh, we need to get these finished too. There you go. Yeah, hopefully we'll get one more lot of polluted water down here and then we'll really see the thermal map change.
But yeah, let's start planting these. We can start digging these up wherever we see them as well. I've already dug up a fair few seeds. There's a couple more we could grab. Yeah, like grab these two. Principles. That was the wrong button. What we got? Uh, ooh. Oh my god, look at this dude. So they've got um, increased agriculture and operating. That's pretty good. Um, don't want allergies. Plus nine tidying is pretty good. I don't really need interior decorators. We've already got someone who's uh, going to do decorating. We don't need Sam. <sighs> so we've got a Frankie and we got an Ada. I would like to get someone and just give them prop tending, even if they're not actually a farming interest. So let's do Frankie. So you can... You can specialize in farming. Operating. Then everyone should be disallowed from decorating except Gosman, because they're the only one, they're the only one we're going to skill up. Um, and then skills wise, you can have farming, and then you'll get crop tending next. Then we can start fertilizing. Okay, and then we can dig these up. Pick up any seeds that we might be able to find. We have loads over here, loads of algae. Yeah, that should be plenty. Uh, you can have aesthetic design. That's good. We're getting pretty close to masterworks. We'll get we'll get some kind of masterwork in here. Probably not a painting immediately. Probably something else. Yeah, go Siv, go. Yeah, it looks like all the water's flowing into here, and then it's coming out of this pipe. Some of it's going over here to refill this. This is one way, so this water isn't going into here. Some of it's going in here to back up here. And then when it finishes backing up in this bit, it'll go into the reservoir, and then we'll decide what to do with it later. But yeah, you can see how much the water level in here has actually dropped since the start of the stream. Like, these things consume a lot of water. I mean, well, they pollute a lot of water. Which is convenient for us because it's hot, but we will need to filter that again. So let's put the polluted dirt in here. Put slime in here as well. I'll make an algae distillery room as well, and we'll pump the, the, we'll pump the stuff in there. That building has a, a pipe exit. Yeah, so we'll put these in here. Yeah, come pump these. Let's uh, let's watch the pumping actually. Not hundred percent sure what the. Uh... Not hundred percent sure what the thumbnails are gonna look like for this uh, series yet, but we're gonna have a. I have one of these here. Also, why are you disinfecting these? He's really getting germy. Oh, yeah, well, the Pluto War is Jeremy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's speed up a little bit. <laughs> we'll see if we manage to get a good shot somewhere in here while they're uh, emptying all of these. But I'm hoping it will get warm enough that you can actually see what I mean. Oh, 
I need these guys to stop this infected. I don't mind you disinfecting the uh, Algae Terrarium, so I do mind you disinfecting the other stuff. I'm back on. Yeah, here we go. We're starting to get some actual, actual temperatures going. Got a load of debris in here that's absorbing some of the heat. Yeah, once we get above a thousand kilograms of tile, that should help. But yeah, I guess all the I guess all the green uh, bottle empties are, are showing uh, where the heat is. You guys have to do this a lot. Alright, there we go. So it's starting to merge in. Got some idle dupes now. So you built these bathrooms. They're all getting pretty full. That's good. Plants are all growing over here. These ones aren't cold enough. These ones aren't warm enough. They'll warm up. I think. Uh, let's do some research. Let's, you know what? Let's actually get some art research done. Not that we found any druckers yet. I think what we'll do is we'll make a metal block and we'll put that in each uh, each room, each great hall. I think that makes sense. Yeah, you can just research that for now. I don't think there's anything more urgent that we need. Okay, it looks like they're actually starting to cool down. That's not good. I'm not sure whether the thumbnail is better with the uh, color or not. You can dig these as well. <laughs> you guys are just trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, this stuff, this tile here is melting really quickly because it's in contact with all this polluted water. So that's good. Um, yes, you can dig this room out as well. It's fine. Yeah, just keep taking this out for now. Yeah, this is belting, it's just gonna take a while. Uh, can we get three more Bristle Blossom seeds? That would be very nice. Yeah, you can dig those up. Can't actually reach over here because of this. Dig that up. You may as well dig this up as well. Go for it.
Yeah, we're getting a large mass of polluted water in here. Uh, so we're going to want to take this and run this through the other sieve. Let's get this connected. And then what I can do is I can put, put a valve in here, maybe? I don't know. If we're running it through a sieve, it doesn't actually matter because the, the sieve will accept uh, clean water and just pass it through. So I think what I can do is I can just take this polluted water out of here, run it this way, run it up here, clean water comes out of here, and then that can get added to this. Then we're not draining so much water from this. And the aim will be to just have this be a closed loop. And ultimately we'll move the polluted water slightly. We can get this set up. Oh, whoops, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, I forgot to build some of the bed. <laughs> uh, yes, bed here, priority nine. Yes, Frankie is currently sleeping on the door. An unfortunate fate for you. Yeah, other than that, just keep digging because we need the food. We need the food and I'd like the seeds. I think this has been um, a pretty productive day. Got some interesting oxygen stuff going on. We've got the power, we've got the plumb bathrooms. The usual stuff. We've got a farm up here. It's not quite warm enough up here. We need to keep heating this water more. So what's actually, actually, what's going to happen is, so instead of doing this, I'm actually going to take this pipe, and what we're going to do is we're going to feed this cold water, this is going to make a lot of sense of this, we're going to feed this cold water down here to the algae terrariums, and then the warm water, and we know it's warm because it's going to be coming from the, the polluted water down here, is going to go up to the bristle blossoms. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, yeah, so we get that done. Yeah, you guys are getting hypothermia again. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it's alright, I believe in you guys. Yeah, that's fine. So, the relatively hot blues of water will come through here. The ice is still melting. And then... This water will go to the farms, because we know it's warmer. I mean, at the moment it's not much warmer. But as the ice starts to melt, that will help. Yeah, dig that out as well. Dig this. Dig all of these. Yeah, there's a few more bristle blossom seeds in here. Actually, that's a meal with seed. What am I talking about? We're finding a couple of blossom seeds, I guess. Some more muck root, at least. Uh, there's another one up here. We, we should just keep tunneling through all this stuff here. This temperate biome is huge as well. Well, 
Well, I don't think we're going to starve. We're going to get to fertilizing these bristle blossoms. We'll make another farm here, maybe, as well. I don't really want to fit one down here. I want to dump more water in here, hopefully. Yeah, this is backed up now. Just... Well, that's not fine, because that's going to bleach some of the heat out. It doesn't need to be super hot, it just needs to be hot enough to um, feed the plants. You guys are all idle now. <laughs> you have no idea what to do. Uh, let's keep digging leaves. Here you go. Have fun. See what you can find. <laughs> Everyone pile into uh, Ashcan's room. Remove all the floor. of seeds. I think you just need to come up here. You know what? Let's actually just get you to finish this. Then you can dig this. And I'm just going to send you over here. And you can dig that up. Then... Ah, uh, then we're still missing another one. Must be at least one more bristle blossom somewhere. Speak to it. As long as no one's idle, it's not a problem. But, uh, yeah, you know what? I think that's going to be it. I think I'm running out of time. Um, but we have achieved a lot today. Uh, we've got plumb bathrooms, like usual. <laughs> we have some coal power. We have some uh, water storage here. Uh, oxygen we're doing with algae terrariums for a change. Uh, mostly because the pollutant water they produce is hot, and we're going to use this to help heat stuff. As well as solving our early game oxygen. Uh, so we're melting this ice, hopefully getting some more water from that. Um, hopefully feeding our bristle blossoms some hot liquids. Uh, I should probably start insulating the base a bit more. But I'll have a think about what I want to do with these farms. But now the aim is to just get more bristle blossom seeds. And we, we've still got loads of muck roots, so we can keep digging it up for a while. Um... But yeah, we're, we're getting there. Um, so, tomorrow I'll be back to the Nitrosphere program. Uh, but Monday, the aim will be probably to explore some more. Maybe have a look at the geysers. Um, just get more heat produced. Get more farms going. Explore the rest of the map. And then we can decide where we're going to put our hatch ranches. Because I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, let me save it. Uh, here we go. Then... Turn that down. Back. Look down. Here I am. Hello. <laughs> Alrighty. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate the company. It's nice having, it's nice starting a new run again. Um, looking forward to what sort of challenges we're going to solve on this rhyme map. Um, hopefully learned a lot since the previous rhyme run and we're going to, we're going to make some more sustainable building choices. Um, a lot of this stuff we're doing early game with the algae terrariums is not going to be around for forever, but it's going to be useful early game just for melting all the ice and just getting us started. So I imagine we're going to be remixing the base a lot as we go at the start. Once all the ice is melted and we're sorting stuff out. But um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks very much as well. I appreciate you guys like watching the bots a lot. Um, you can come to the YouTube channel and you can see uh, discussion and meme videos for Optional Included and other games. 
Um, I started playing Hyperbolica. Uh, I'm going to finish that at some point. I'm not sure when. Probably when I next get around a weekend stream in. Um, and then there's Discord group as well, where we hang out and we post builds and memes. Again, most of the not included. Some Dice to Spit program. We will be doing a Dice to Spit program tomorrow. I'm looking forward to getting back into that. Um, probably just doing some troubleshooting on my base and then setting off for a different star system and building a new base and different star system. That's what we're going to do. Uh, but yeah, let me go find someone to raid. It's been a while since I've um, raided someone else's actually come only, I think. Huh. I'm very glad as well. I think my suntan, uh, my sunburn is starting to turn into a suntan, so I'm slightly relieved. Uh, right. You know what? Let's go raid to Legit City. They're doing the 100k challenge at the moment where the map starts out at 100 Kelvin. So much, much colder than Rhyme. <laughs> so we'll go see what they're doing. See what luck they're having. Ready. We go raid in like 10 seconds. But yeah, if you like if you like watching this, feel free to follow on Twitch and you'll get a notification when I go live next. I usually stream 7.30 to 10.30 GMT um, or British time. And uh, yeah, you'll, you'll know what I'm doing. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.